In this lecture, I want to talk about how to edit your Amazon Audible audiobooks using the KDP Audiobook Editor. Now, if you auto-generate your books the way that I showed in the previous lecture, then you're going to be able to go in and edit the books as you go along. Now, the three edits that you can do is you can enter pauses. So if for some reason pauses didn't work quite right in the recording, you can fix that. You can correct pronunciation of words in a clever way. And then you can speed up sections of text. Now, this is very time consuming. So I consider it optional. I personally don't do it with my books that I autocorrect. But I got a comment on my last video from a student who said he watches a lot of auto generated or listens to a lot of auto generated audiobooks and that he really recommends going through and correcting pronunciation. It's very annoying when that goes wrong and that leads to bad reviews and reduced sales. So you might want to do this. The problem is, is it takes a long time. You need to listen to the entire book and decide where you want to put in pauses, change pronunciation, or speed up sections. Now, when it also, when it comes to inserting pauses, now the automatic reader interprets commas as short pauses and periods as longer pauses. So if you punctuate your writing correctly, you shouldn't have a big problem with pauses. Now, I don't know about pronunciation, whether that gets aired, how many times there's errors in that, but I definitely would not speed up and slow down text. So the only thing you are talking about pretty much is going through and dealing with pronunciation issues. So let's jump over to KDP and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here I am in KDP and I've been playing around with my book Divine Night. So it's in draft mode. Let's continue the setup of the audiobook. And here we see the standard. I want the first female voice, an American English female voice. It's going to auto-generate the cover. I'm going to enroll in the Audible Plus program. I've set my price for $3.99. And now I can open the virtual voice studio. Now what I want to do here, and once again, I just realized. Now here we are in the prologue. And the, this is what the uh, voice is going to read. Now let's listen to it read. And this is what you do is you go along and you listen. Prologue. I-N-K-N. A villainous compound of tano gallate of iron, gum arabic, and water, chiefly used to facilitate the infection of idiocy and promote intellectual crime. Now, at any point, we can pause audio, audio. And let's say in between here, we want a longer pause. So I say from promote and intellectual crime, I want something in there. So I say add a pause, or I can either click add a pause here because I've collect, selected a space. That's where the pauses go. Or I can click the pause over here and I can give it a short medium or long pause, and I just say add pause. And now I've got a short pause inserted here. Now, if at any time I don't like that, I can select the pause and say edit pause and pick remove. And the pause is gone. So that's how you insert pauses. Now, once again, if you punctuate your uh, writing correctly, Commas will produce short pauses. Periods will produce long pauses. So everything should be paused correctly. But if you want an unusually pa uh, unpa paused sentence or an unusually long pause, then you can insert it. Here's the next thing. Let's say Ambrose. Let's pick Ambrose. And we're going to pick pronunciation on here. So I can edit the pronunciation of Ambrose. Now I can play how it sounds now. Ambrose. There we go. And then I can say, <clears throat> you know, I'd like to change the, pronunci of the pronunciation of that to Ambrose. And then I can play that. Am 
Ambrose. Now, at some point, I can go and I can say, apply that pronunciation change here for Ambrose. And I can even click and say, apply to all instances. So this is the way you correct pronunciations. Now, the final thing that you can do is down here on range and, and or rather voice speed. And here you pick a range of characters. So let's start, whoop, let's start here and we'll select the first sentence. Let's say we want to change the speed. So we go here and we say it's default speed right now. We want it to be 50% slower and we apply that. Your edits have been saved. And now that's going to be read 50% slower. And it and it shows that fact with the double underline under it. Now I can go here to the speed for this. Let's see if I can select the whole sentence again. But we can come here and we can reapply the default speed to this sentence. Edit, <laughs> it's 50% slower. Voice speed, there we go, remove. And there, now the voice speed has been removed. So that's how you remove and add these three styles of edits. Now, everything you have, <clears throat> everything you do gets auto-saved. So there's no need to save things. And you have undo and redo here. It's also on control Z. And you can clear all of your edits. And that's how to use the editor to modify your audio before generating it.